my name is uh, Sulaika Martinez and I am originally from Mexico, San Luis Potosí. I'm um, the daughter of 13 children. I was, the, you know, I'm the baby. Um, I, I had two bro uh, one brother and one sister that died at birth, so then it made it 11, but I'm still number 13. Um, all my brothers and sisters, you know, we all come from a background of being Catholics. And in the Catholic religion, um, the culture is mixed with the religion. When, it, when I was uh, in, in the Catholic religion, one of my my thoughts was that uh, I wanted to study nursing to go into missionary. So I was still was going to have, have a lot of conservative where I was going to be away and, and you know, I was going to have to give up a lot. So it was already in my thought and my, my belief. But then when I found this mom, it's like, it just opened my eyes where I felt that, okay, this is part of Christianity. It makes sense where there were parts of the Bible that I just, you know, I would wonder and I would ask my priest, I would ask him, what does this mean? I don't understand, you know? They would tell me, don't question it. You know, this is what God said and that's the way it's going to be. And I would go to others, preachers, whoever, and they were like, well, the, you know, there's many things, you know, that God has sent to us in the Bible that are not answered, but you were supposed to obey, you were supposed to just leave it there. But then when the Quran came, it just... Fill that gap. That's what it did. <laughs> and even when I became a Muslim, they were, at first, my brothers were a little kind of nervous because, of course, they were like, oh, you're going to marry this guy, he's going to beat you, blah, blah. But then they came to find out it wasn't like that, that I wasn't in the religion because of a man. I wasn't in the religion because I was not happy with, you know, with my beliefs or my culture, but because I... Failed, they, they realized that this was uh, between God and I. I know what, what, how it feels to be alone and, and, and honest and, and literally left out. Because when you're like the only convert and everybody else, uh, Arabs, Pakistanis, not they're they're nice people, even Turks. But when they don't speak English, or you know, you can't. They have another culture than you do, because I'm an American Mexican. My culture is very different, you know, than theirs. Uh, they don't know how to communicate, and it gets lonely. My first two Ramadans were very lonely, were very alone until I started meeting more Latina Muslims, and that's what and more not just Latinas, but even Americans, regardless, we started growing within the community, getting bigger and bigger. It's amazing how many uh, converts I know. It's grown from probably just knowing one person to probably about three or four hundred, you know, different Latinos or, or just converts, period. Converts all over Houston.